Hello everyone, my name is Nuno Pereira from NunoSolutions.com. Today I'm, I want to go over how you create an, a server-side RDL and the, a really simple report in reporting services and deploy it to the report server and then also through re the report manager run the report. So in order to do this you're going to need to use the Business Intelligence Studio that was installed with Report Services 2008 or 2008 R2. Um, you can't use Visual Studio 2010 because um, it just won't work. So uh, open up Business Intelligence Studio and create a report project. You want to hit File, New Project, <coughs> select from the Project Types list Business Intelligence Projects and hit Report Server Project. Click change the name if you'd like and then click OK. I've already done that so I have report project one which if you've never created one that's what you'll have. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a shared data source. The shared data source is basically responsible for um, uh, giving you a connection to your database. So I'm going to go ahead and just rename it to Northwind, yes Northwind. And the database resides on my local host, my local computer. So let me just test the connection, hit OK, and then we'll click OK to create it. So now you'll see you have our Northwind data source here. Next thing you're going to want to do is create a data set. Right click data, share data sets and add new. Uh, the data sets basically um, are the fields, they're going to contain the fields that your report is going to use. So we're going to, you have to associate your data set with a data source connection, which by default is already selected to Northwind. So I'm going to type a really simple query here. Again, this is this the purpose of this uh, um, demo is to show you how to cr do a really simple report. Um, I hit refresh fields, and now if I click on the fields, uh, the second item in this list, it'll show me which fields are going to be returned back to me. You could also add parameters in here and stuff. I'm not going to do that. Just to keep it simple. Click OK. There's your data set. So let's actually create the report now right click reports hit add new item uh, if you click report wizard it's going to give you a wizard like tool that will automatically try to uh, um, pick up your field the fields that you'd like and create like a really look like uh, a nice looking report for you automatically but for the purpose of this I'm going to use a blank report so we'll hit report and I'll call this Northwind customers and you'll click add. So you'll be presented with a, a blank um, report design surface uh, and, and you'll notice you have a design and a preview button. When we're ready to preview the report that's what you'll do. You'll hit the preview tab. So in the toolbox you're going to want to get the tablix. Uh, it's called table when it, it, from the toolbox but when you drag it to the surface for some reason it's a tablix. Um, by default uh, it's going to ask you for a data set. We're going to use the data set that we've already created. So just select it and click OK for now. Uh, drag over the tablix over, and I'll show you hit the floor, the t actual tablix. Um, so we're going to have to add a couple of columns to this thing because I'm going to I'm going to add a, more than uh, more than just three three columns. Probably have about six. So let's see. I add them. Let me just hide this here. Now you're going to want to go to your report data window, which should be hanging somewhere on the left side, unless you moved it. Uh, expand the data sets uh, folder within it, and you should see that your data set shows you exact the same exact fields that were shown before. So I'm just going to drag and drop a couple of fields over to my tablix. And the last one here. And I'll hide that because I don't need it for now. So one other thing I like to do is just decorate this a little bit. Uh, so I'll highlight the header column and I'll change the background color to, uh, to gray and the foreground color to white. And one other thing is I'll just you know, collapse that, uh, that report surface. So I'm pretty much done here. I'm going to hit, hit save. Sorry about that. And then I'll hit the preview tab. And boom, there's our data. That's pulling right out of Northwind. Uh, very simple tabular format report. Um, so now let's uh, 
Next step is to deploy the report. So you're going to want to go over to your Solution Explorer, right click your project, and then hit Properties. From this window, I already have my, some of the properties set, but one of the, one of the most important properties in this window is the target server URL, because that tells the Visual Studio which report server you want to post the report to, deploy it. Um, large corporate environments might have multiple report servers, so in, in that, if you did, then you'd have to make sure you pick the correct one. Um, so since the report, the report server is running on my, report, on my computer, I'm just using localhost. Um, that should be the server name if it's a remote server. Um, the other thing is the um, the target report folder. That's that's the folder where you want to put the your report. Obviously, the target data source folder. The same thing. Defaults to data sources. I usually don't I don't change that. And the target data set folder is data sets. Uh, you can change that if you like. For now, I'm just going to leave it plain. Uh, default mean. I hit OK. Right click your project, make sure it builds, build succeeded, right click your project again and hit deploy. And if all goes well, you should have one succeeded and zero failed and zero skipped. So now I'm going to bring up the report manager, which I already have up. Uh, you'll notice that it's empty, there's nothing in it. If you've never seen this before, uh, this is a GUI tool that's provided, an ASP, that, like a web GUI tool that Microsoft provides that you can use to um, give your users access to reports. It's security based so you can grant them better, like different permissions. Um, that's out of the scope of this uh, particular demo. So what I'm going to do here is refresh the report manager by refreshing my browser and you'll see that the data source, data set, and Northwind folders were all deployed to the report manager. So I'm going to check out the report, the Northwind uh, reports folder because I want to run the Northwind customers report and you'll see it looks exactly as it did when before we posted it and from here you can export the various formats you can print you can resize go to the next page etc pretty much everything that you that you would expect so um, that, that that's it for the uh, the demo for today uh, I'm going to post another video that sh that's a continuation of this one that'll show how, from a Windows application, how you can export this particular report into a file in using the same formats that are within here. Thank you again. My name is Bruno from Nuno Solutions.